Happy Trinity, welcome to another episode of Extra Fruit. Uh, I have here my cup of coffee, which was at a consumable temperature about uh, an hour ago, and then I left it sit out and it then became lukewarm. So I took a sip of it and then proceeded to spit it back out. That reminds us of Jesus' words to the church in Laodicea in Revelation chapter 3. He says, I know your works, that you are neither hot nor cold. I wish that you would be hot or cold, but you have become lukewarm and you are in danger of being spit out. It reminds us of um, a message that I gave this past uh, Sunday about being ready for Christ's return. Lots of people live as that church in Laodicea. It's a warning to us to be prepared, to be ready, to be anticipating the return of Christ. You know, in uh, Matthew chapter 24, which was our, our gospel reading, um, Jesus talks about, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be at the coming of the Son of Man. That just like that flood, the people were not prepared for when the flood came. And the word in Greek for flood is uh, cataclysmos. It's where we get the word cataclysm. And, you know, so that could mean, you know, not necessarily just a flood, but any kind of cataclysm in our lives. And, you know, uh, the, the point of the message was that, um, you know, to be prepared for Jesus' return, but really we should pre be prepared for any kind of disruption to our life. You know, we could, our lives are so fragile, really, if we stop and think about it. You know, one bad news could change the entire course of our lives. One um, diagnosis, one uh, phone call in the middle of the night. So really, we should be prepared at all times. We should be repenting. We should be seeking after Christ, living as though he is coming back. Because not only do we not know his return, we also don't know the next day that we have. Today is all that we are given, and so we should make the most of it. And so that's my encouragement to you uh, today, is to continue to press on, to, to live as a Christian, to live as though Jesus is returning, and to put all of your faith and your trust in him to see you through each and every day because he will not give you more than you're uh, able to handle through his strength. And so we trust in him and we anticipate his return. God bless.